the seers are people that have the ability to about receive prophecy by God through a visual ability in the realm of the spirit or in the prophetic realm. The seers are people that can also hear when God speaks to them. So to become a seer, you are not opening a business venture for yourself to be to you. It's purely God's business as his own design, designed to raise men and women that can see for his people, that can serve as global watchmen and watchwomen. And I know you're one of them. You are watching the prophetic series with Apostle Raymond Eder, the icon of hope. The title of this one is How to Become a Seer. This is part three of my work on how to become a seer. And it's going to transform you. It's going to serve as a great light on your life, your spiritual journey, as well as your quest to understand the prophetic as well as the life of seers. And if you are being called or you perceive no sense in the call into the prophetic, this is going to serve as a great guide that will position you to do the work of God with excellence at all levels as far as the prophetic or the seer office or life is concerned. The seers are people that have the ability to about receive the prophecy, receive prophecy by God through a visual ability in the realm of the spirit or in the prophetic realm. They can interact with the prophetic realm through a visual aid. They can see in the realm of the spirit, not just in the physical realm. They can see through things in the physical as well. Seers are people that can also hear when God speaks to them. So this is a brief picture of what a seer is. Before I take you into scripture so that I help you dissect what it takes for you to become or the costs of becoming a seer, in case you're new on my platform here, subscribe to my channel, kindly do so. Like this video, share to bless somebody and comment to tell me how the video has affected you. Let's move into the concern for this video. How to become a seer. Let's look at First Peter chapter 1 verse 20. Knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of one's own interpretation. Verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old times by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So to become a seer. You are not opening a business business venture for yourself to be to you. It's purely God's business. It's his own design, designed to raise men and women that can see for his people, that can serve as global watchmen and watchwomen. And I know you're one of them. What does it take to become a seer? That's what we are journeying to at this point. In most cases, depending on what type of a seer you're going to be, a chosen or a called, there are those who have preliminary experiences. That's to say that they can begin to see things long before they realize they are called. And in most cases, they can even see with forensic accuracy. I mean, at pinpoint level, before they realize they've been called to prophesy. They see visions, they dream dreams that come to pass with ease or have dreams that come to pass to fulfillment. They can see or experience all the signs that shows you are a seer or signs that shows that you are a prophet. I've done a number of videos on that. Signs that shows that you are a prophet, signs that shows that you are a seer. I've done those videos on this platform or my platform on youtube you can check those out so let's move on there's that preliminary phase where you're going to see all kinds of things and in no particular order they can present themselves at random sometimes you can make meaning of them sometimes you can't even make meaning of them those things are there then comes the organized phase of your journey into becoming a seer number one factor cost is spiritual gifts you can't become a seer without accessing and receiving spiritual gifts they are the basis and the spiritual gifts that will help you here you're going to see word of knowledge word of wisdom gift of prophecy and the likes these spiritual gifts position you 
to be able to come back with accuracy when that is to begin to see and close to at will. I don't mean at, at will yet, but close to at will. At least you can pray and ask God to show you something and God will show you what you're asking him for. Even if he doesn't show you, immediately he's going to show you something about what you're asking him. So it's, it, it begins there at uh, a matter of journey into a place that you are going to spiritual gifts they you 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 leave the face of receiving these spiritual gifts and confirming that they are there by actively engaging them through spiritual activities okay that are directional spirit led activities then you move to the next stage of the journey and this one we is the spiritual eyes you are a uh, visual a prophetic sense have to be activated. I call it the prophetic sense of sight. It has to be activated. This corresponds with when your spiritual eyes get open and you begin to see. As for the apostles, they got filled with the Holy Spirit and began to uh, experience uh, things in the realm of the Spirit, right? Then they begin to experience things in the Holy Spirit, in the Spirit. Uh, let me leave there and maintain our point number two, where I talked about the issue of the spiritual eyes. These are the eyes we use for seeing in the realm of the spirit. And sometimes it's very post on your physical eyes. You look at things and you begin to see with the other eye. Some refer to it as a third eye, not like that of the way the word presented. In our own case, our spiritual eyes superimposes on our physical eyes, aided by spiritual gifts that are prophetically by us, meant to inform the, the prophet of their word or their role. So, Let's go to the Bible and pick men like John or the be beloved who was in Revelation chapter 1 verse 10 where he said, and I uh, heard, he heard a voice and then he turned to see the voice that was speaking to him and then he saw seven golden lampstands, saw some the son of man walking in the midst of them and described the hair as white as wool and then the eyes as dust in its fire and he des described it. The lampstand as gold and they had all got fire. He was seeing his spiritual eyes were active. Let's look at Ezekiel. Ezekiel beheld uh, the beast and the living creatures, you know, and he began to see. He saw, he saw the head of the calf, head of the, uh, of, the, of the ox, head of the ox rather, head of man, head of eagle and head of lion on a single uh, being, a living creature. And they were carried by wheels, and the wheel had wheels in wheels, and had eyes all over, and bent with fire, and like the color of amber. And he gave the description of their feet, like the calf's feet, and then they had got color of bronze. You see, that's a seer describing an encounter. These men have got their spiritual eyes open. You can see like this until your spiritual eyes are open, and your spiritual eyes cannot be said to be open until your prophetic sense of sight has been activated let's move to our stage number three and this one now talks about uh, spiritual yieldedness now my spiritual eyes have been opened i need to be spiritually yielded this is when jesus will now say whoever will not receive the kingdom of god as this little child like he did in matthew chapter 18 from verse 1 where he picked a child little kid and placed him in front of them and then he now said whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as this little child is not fit for the kingdom. Paraphrased. The goal, the point here is that it's easier for younger people to be trained or schooled to prophesy because they easily believe. But older people, people who have formed their own concept or principles of life, have made meaning out of life for things they have decided to believe and not to believe. They find it difficult to, be, to begin to prophesy, to become seers. They find it difficult. But if you are the type that is yielded to the Holy Spirit, yet ready to be a fool like Jeremiah said, I was deceived. <laughs> Remember Prophet Jeremiah said that because he childishly or sheepishly, better said childishly, believed everything the Spirit of the Lord said to him and he found himself into some things that he wouldn't have entered or wished for himself given his right senses. But people in their right senses cannot become seers. You want to become, I don't say you are already a seer, you want to become. If you want to become a seer, you must deny your right senses and yield to the Holy Spirit. So it's going to show you things that will rather seem like abstract or things that will rather seem like they don't exist. 
in existing things and you just have to believe and follow so by the time you are able to do that you, you you begin to get into the deep of god deep things of god to the point where god now opens up every other thing for you that corresponds with when you can now operate the prophetic codes with ease and that's because you have been able to interpret prophetic cards in the codes at that stage already then prophecy can come up from you like popcorn from every corner you can look in this direction give prophecy look in that direction give prophecy prophesy endlessly as the spirit gives you the ability to do so because you're already in the prophetic office you get that so that's what it takes to become a seer in a physics as far as these the scope of the part three is concerned you will have to go back to my how to become a seer part one how to become a seer part two i also did another stuff on how to become a seer this is another one go back there look at all these videos and you have changed your life forever in case you want to take your prophetic journey into a deeper depth right now sign up with me for a certificate course in forensic prophecy with the shadow school of cs1 mentor prophets from around the world to activate themselves and begin to prophesy accurately in a forensic level to do that keep the whatsapp contact displayed in front of you on the screen here contact the apple ceremony leader ministries or the shadow school of cs as well work it through or in the comment section there's a whatsapp contact there pinned or link click it and we'll pick it up from there and work it through see you in shallow school of cs receive the anointing to operate prophetically like you've never done before in jesus mighty name